All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, ES6. Use destructuring assignment to assign variables from arrays. All right. So ES6 makes destructuring arrays as easy as destructuring objects. All right. Uh, one key difference between the spread operator and array destructuring is that the spread operator unpacks all contents of an array into a comma separated list. Consequently, we cannot pick or choose which elements we want to assign to variables. Okay. So destructuring an array lets us do exactly that. So if we have something like this, const, and then we'll say an array with a comma b in it, and it equals this big array with six different uh, elements, and we do console.log, a is going to equal one, and b is going to equal two. Like it says right here, the console will display the values a and b as one comma two. All right. So now that we've got that going, now that we know that, the variable A is assigned to the first value of the array, and B is assigned to the second value of the array. We can also access the value at any index in an array with destructuring by using commas to reach the desired index, all right? So right here we have A, B, and then we skip one with a blank, uh, with nothing, and then a comma, and then nothing, and then a comma, and then we get to C right here, so it's gonna have one, two, skip, skip, five, right? So when we do console.log ABC, it says it's going to have one comma, two comma, five, just like that, right? So now we're going to use destructuring assignment to swap the values of A and B so that A receives the value stored in B and B receives the value stored in A. This is something we do a lot when uh, we're doing the sort, the sort method, I do believe. I can't remember. Actually, we can just look it up. Why not? Sort method JavaScript. Boom. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on, quick. I I'm doing a video here. Oh, <laughs> I should have looked this up for her. <laughs> anyway, we'll figure that out later. Uh, so let's get, let's do this right now. So we're going to use the destructuring to do that. So what, could, what we're going to do here is we're going to say a, excuse me, we're going to have the, uh, what is this? The uh, brackets and we're going to say a comma b now equals and then we'll have another set of brackets, B comma A. So the A now equals B and the B now equals A. So that, uh, let's just do a console.log A. How about that? Console.log A, you see it equals six because B was six and now A is six. And then if we say B, B now equals eight because it was A and now it's B. So whatever was A, whatever was B is now A. Whatever was A is now B. That's basically how that works. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to destructuring via rest elements. And we'll see you next time.